What's up guys, another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the first time I'm doing an alternators. This is Transformers Alternator um, Deceptor Charge. Um, this is the second alternators I own, the other one being um, San Diego Comic Con Rodimus, I think. He's a Mustang, I think. He's in the package, I never even opened him. He was cheap, so I bought him. Um, I picked this guy up at TF Con, at the actual con. Uh, didn't pay too much for him. The reason that I picked him up out of everybody, and why would I even pick up an alternator, is because the custom class figure this year was this guy. So I figured I might as well have the original figure, because he was cheap. Why not have the original figure that he's based off of? Um, I wanted to show you him off together with the custom figure in vehicle mode. The problem is, it's the um, my, my custom figure, the clear plastic, it was based off of Effie Bonby. I got him right here. I'm going to show him off in uh, with him in uh, robot mode. And I'll show you the problem. Why I don't want to transform him back into vehicle mode uh, when I when I show him off in, in robot mode. But he is a, uh, we have a Honda S2000. See, uh, D-Charge right there for Deceptive Charge with Decepticon, lo Decepticon logo. Honda logo. I actually really don't like this car. I've driven it several times I just don't like it but whatever it's the car that they figure was off of, based off of so I went with it. It does roll very nicely I believe he does yeah he does have rubber tires it's pretty clean on the bottom it's fairly simple to transform um, he doesn't have side windows uh, he does have a gimmick where he can take the top off and there's another top I have it um, it's just a convertible top so it just basically sits back here like the convertible folded back and went back here. I forgot to grab it and it doesn't really matter because it's just a little lip that goes right here and it's got no other place in vehicle mode for it or robot mode for it. So it's just, you know, pick a, pick a top and go with it. So I'm just going to leave the hard top for now. Uh, I see the big four on the hood, Energon power and all the, if you care, I don't really care about all the racing things, but Destron oil, panel lines, Destron oil, that's pretty cool, it's the S2000, thrust power for uh, thrust, obviously, I just noticed that Cybertronian tires, what does it say, radial, yeah, radial, uh, dueler exhaust, can't even read what that says, down at the bottom, something plugs, can't read it, uh, Cybertronian radials, Energon power, Dinotron Racing Fuel, number four with the flames. Uh, again, this is that's all actually replicated on the custom figure, which I will show off. Energon power again. Um, it does have, if you open up the hood, it does have eh, give me a, a little engine, which is actually his gun. So the first type of transformation is actually to pop that out, so we'll just do that real quick. To transform that, you just unfold it. That's his gun. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy. Put that off to the side for now. Uh, that is the first step of transformation anyway, so we'll just go ahead and leave that off. So yeah, let's just transform this guy real quick. So I'll basically take that out. Come over here, and open the doors. Take the top off completely. Pegs on uh, this way. Uh, there's two pegs right here, hard to see because they're clear right there and then go here and here put that off to the side we're gonna come to his legs and uh, open the hood just open the hood and get it out of the way split the legs oh what's also cool is the wheels actually turn in unison if I turn this wheel that wheel turns as you can see actually right in there there's actually a magnet I'll show you split the legs and bring them down but there's a magnet right here. See the magnet? And they peg, they magnetize, peg together. So that way when you turn one, the other one turns. Neat little gimmick. What you want to do is actually lift up on that magnet. And then uh, lift up on this the front bumper. Does it go in or out? In. Uh, that way. So that way it goes behind the wheel. You just lift that part out. And what you want to do is come under here. And flip the foot out and flip the heel out which is inside there, it's hard to see because everything's black um, this is on a ball joint and there's a little hinge 
is an inside hinge here. So what you want to do is straighten it at the, it's usually like that in vehicle mode, so fold it out like that. Come under here where this magnet is. Flip, make sure this panel's up. Flip the magnet in so it just sits inside there, and that will allow you to fold this panel down. And then what you want to do is rotate the foot so it's flat, which is this way. Um, it's got a cut in the top of the ball joint, so it can, if it goes this way, it's at a ridiculous angle, so you know which way is front. At least that's how I tell which way is front, and that this half of the bumper just sits there. Repeat on the other side, lift up on the magnet, push that out, flip out the foot, flip out the heel, come on, flip out the heel, fold up on that hinge, Oop, get the magnet in, tire flat, fold that in. Why isn't this? Because I gotta get it that way. There we go. Just don't put too much force, nothing needs to be forced. Okay. Um, this step says later, but we'll just do it now. Pull the pull the doors. See there's a hinge right here. Just pull that out. See the doors and slides, and that'll allow you to fold it down. It doesn't peg in, but it just sits like that. So the doors have some place to go. Come back here, lift up on the dashboard, and rotate it 180. Lift up on the hood with the other fingers, keep it up and out of the way. Fortunately, this guy, this guy is pretty big, so it's going to be hard to uh, get everything in frame. But fold the seats flat, push them down, split the. As you can see, the spoiler keeps coming on peg, but you can just go ahead and open it. Actually, leave that closed for now. What you want to do, it's hard to do this with the camera, but you want to lift up on the trunk and then split. There we go. Oh, that's why. Dirt. Come under here. Fold these bits in half under the vehicle. They are very tight. Just fold those down like that. That will open the arms up. Um, come around here. Fold. Oh, wait. Rotate the whole thing. 180 at the waist, forgot about that. Flip the hood back up. Now you want to rotate these. Maybe in a pain in the butt. You know what? Fold this down for now. Just fold that out of the way for now. That'll allow you to bring the uh, rear end of the car, the back quarter panel down, rotate it 90 degrees this way so the tire is facing towards you. You're going to unpeg the arm from here, it just separates right there. So just right under the tail light, just comes under like that. Fold it out, rotate it around, and then just close the fist. Fist does need to be open for transformation to fit around his head. Bring it down, rotate it around, close the fist. Now the official transformation just says fold this down underneath like that to give them abs and do that. That looks retarded. I don't know why the official instructions have it like that because that basically says that this rear spoiler has no reason to split. So they just put a split and some hinges in there for no good reason. Don't know why they didn't include this in there at all, but what you're supposed to do is un. At least as far as I know, I haven't actually looked up any other videos of it, but open up that spoiler, fold that under, and just kind of get it how you like it. Why are you being a pain in the butt today? Just like that. 
doesn't peg in, but again, that actually sits kind of flush as opposed to having the spoilers just closed and pushing it out. Still don't understand why the instructions didn't have it like that. But uh, the uh, the hood just kind of sits uh, back there too, it doesn't peg in. I just like to flare up the fenders, bring his arms down a little bit, stand them up, and there we have Deceptive Charge in his robot mode. Just gonna stand him up for a second and then I'll focus. Pull the camera up a little. Oh, good if the camera doesn't fall off the table. So there we have him in his robot mode. And he's okay. He doesn't thrill me. But whatever. He can hold his gun, um, the fist. You know what, let me do the articulation first. Head is on a ball joint. Pretty good ball joint, actually. A little bit up and down, too. Uh, shoulders up and down, rotate 360 degrees. Just watch out for the chest plate. Shoulders here will go back and forth that way. Cut just above the elbow, bends at the elbow. Very stiff, uh, rotates at the wrist. The fingers are the index finger, and then the other three are stuck, stuck together, and the thumb does not move. I kind of thought that, no, that's the same way. I thought the other hand was different. Um, rotates at the waist, but because of the transformation with the hood on the back, it doesn't really. Uh, do we have universal joints at the hips? Uh, it looks like there's a cut above the th in the thigh, but there isn't. Bends at the knee. Uh, bends at the knee, but there's a ratchet that's very, very stiff. So just be careful of that, at least on mine. I don't know anybody else's, so. Uh, foot is on a ball joint, but you're not going to get a ton of movement. You get some actually decent movement. Just uh, this panel will open up and just remember that it's angled. There's an angled cut on it, so it'll sit flat in a uh, you know, normal A stance. So just be aware of that. So this guy is, he's not bad, he's just kind of plain. He does have the uh, Septicon logo on his chest and it is hidden in Vilgamon. I think they're all like that. Uh, again, I'm not a uh, Alternity or Binotech collector, so I couldn't tell you. It's the first one I've actually played with. But for his accessories, open up his hand, there's a peg on the handle of the gun. Fits into a peg, to a hole in his hand, which again isn't the best method. If I can get it to go in his hand, there we go. I think that looks really stupid. He's shooting his engine at you. I just popped it out. So whatever, that's that. And he's falling, flopping all over the place because I'm trying to work around the camera. Doing this in front of the camera can be tricky, people. And then there's a peg on the inside of the hood. There's a hole on the side of his forearm. And you can peg that in and say, I will block you with my hood. Or my roof. Sorry. So yeah, there he is. All armored up, I guess. Kind of silly, but it is what it is. So I wanted to show the custom figure with you. And it is first edition Transformers Prime Bubble Bee repainted as this guy. The, let me just show you real quick the problem. Um, there were stripes that went right here. There's a black stripe that went straight across here. And we had to remove that. So you use 90% alcohol, scrub the crap out of it, and it comes off. Uh, clear uh, clear plastic and rubbing alcohol do not get along. Uh, it will actually dissolve the clear plastic. It was not soaking. We weren't soaking this in the alcohol or anything. But just from having it on my hands and from gripping it, you know, just to hold it, to rub it, 
I guess enough of it got on there that it started dissolving it. So I can probably show you without, hopefully without destroying it. Let me just try to show you. If you look, look up here on the hinge on the top. I don't want to, you can see right there. Let me, uh, so I can zoom in. See how it's all cracked up? It's cracked there, it's cracked on the top. They're actually like pretty much all cracked. Some way, all four of them, because there's two hinges on each one. So basically, I had this guy transformed in vehicle mode, wrapped him up in bubble wrap, brought him home, got him home, unwrapped him from the bubble wrap, transformed it back, and those hinges disintegrated. So I guess there was enough of it for enough time while he was, you know, chilling in storage before I got home from TFCon that it had time for the clear plastic, for the alcohol to dissolve the clear plastic. So basically, this guy is never going to see vehicle mode ever again. I did take a comparison shot with my cell phone camera, so I'll probably throw that in the beginning of this video just so you can see what they look like together. But there are uh, there are a lot of you know what was cool is they give you repro labels to you know repro labels actually does the set for these guys. Same thing same thing every year I think because we did it last year too with repro labels. So you do get you know the ability to get the you know the authenticity <clears throat> you know the accents so for example when you transform this guy he does have the four you can see the four on top of the hood half of the four the four you know of the hood uh he does have we gave him a silver headlight which is cool um the only difference is really uh, we gave him red light uh tinted the windows all red so the windshield and the back windshield so you can see the back windshield is red. These are the side windows, and then the back wind, the front windshield up here, all red, which is cool. Makes it a little bit different. Oh my god! I was trying to not knock him over. The doors, you can see, you got the the four on it, and it's got all the same Cybertron power. Or Cybertronian Energon power, Cybertronian radials, Dinotron racing fuel, all the same decals. And I don't remember what decal that one was. Oh, it says Destron oil. So you don't have all the same decals, but you got most of them. That's enough to say, yep, yeah, that's, that, that's the same as that guy. Um, they did give us a render form head. So that's pretty cool that we got. That we got you know a new head to represent this guy we did get we did paint it similarly although there are red dots under here let me show you the custom head ah uh, my bad painting job but you can see it's you know a different head than bumblebee see there's red dots on the helmet which aren't on that figure, but whatever. Nothing wrong making them a little bit different. But yeah, he is very cool. We also gave him red rims, which this guy doesn't have. But again, it's fine. It makes him a little bit different. But that that's the comparison between the two of the custom figure and the, the vinyl tech or the, whatever, the alternator. So yeah, I just wanted to show that off again. I'm not showing this off at... Uh, in vehicle mode because I'm not going to destroy the hood and destroy those uh, those clear hinges. See the Decepticon logo right in there. So again, that get, actually does get hidden. The Autobot logo was right behind here, but we dissolved, we got rid of that, painted it over black. So we got Decepticon logo right there underneath. So it does show in, vehicle, in robot mode, but not in vehicle mode, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to set him off to the side. It's a lot more red accents actually on this guy than on the original figure. So yeah, as far as altern uh, alternative figures go, um, alternative alternator figures go. I think I called them that before too. As far as uh, alternators go, this guy's definitely not probably. Oh, actually, I don't know if he's the best because I've never played with any of them. But as far as I know, he's definitely not the best. He's definitely not a great figure. Um, if you're collecting alternators, 
I would say you could probably skip this guy unless you really like Hondas. Uh, more of a Nissan guy than myself than Honda. But if you're really into Hondas, and you like S2000s, go right ahead. But he doesn't really wow me. He's not a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination, but he's definitely not the greatest thing ever. Uh, I do like that he's fairly clean. He's got the big four on his back. But, yeah, like I said, if you're just going to buy an, al an alternator, find a better one. But, if you see him pretty pretty cheap, I got him pretty cheap, so if you find him cheap, pick him up. So yeah, this has been the video review for uh, Transformers Alternators Decepticharge.